All right, today we are doing four by four switch, flip it, doesn't do anything or it takes a while for it to engage. It'll wiggle the switch and whatnot. So what we do is we take apart our switch box, it's the throttle, switch box, it's on top. <clears throat> Undo a few screws at the bottom. Do a couple of screws on the side, as you can see. That's half the battle. That is terrible connections. And then you be very careful when you start taking apart the rocker switch. Here, this is what's inside. Clean that all up. And inside these two little pockets these two very important little screws don't lose those they are tiny as you can see they are tiny and you got two little pieces of copper and as you can see these little buzzies are dirty as could be all right those are your two contact points at the top and as you can see that and that is not making any contact with anything. So we're gonna clean those up, reinstall, and test it out. All right, let's do it. All right, so yeah, these guys cleaned up. Pretty good, still a little bit of junk on there, especially on that one. Scratch that one up a little bit more. Now we got the little box that carries it, all cleaned out. And then the switch cleaned out, springs are good. So, now we're going to go take a little bit of carb clean and the emery cloth. Oh, don't lose anything. <clears throat> and we're going to hit the switch. Curb clean. And then really, you're just gonna uh, take the emery cloth and go over it gently. Don't wanna mess these contacts up with wire wheel or anything like that too much. Don't wanna take any material away. As I can imagine, one of these switches are a few hundred bucks because I believe you gotta Get the whole entire assembly and then you gotta run your cables my goodness so before you go doing all that or replacing your uh little servo switches it in and out of four by four take it apart first and uh, clean up your contacts uh, it, i bet you anything it's a free fix only takes a minute really and uh, just you know give your cloth a little maintenance you know that you kind of take a beating out there going through mud puddles and beating over rocks and there in the rain and especially if you've uh, bought yourself a second hand quad like myself you really got to go through them and uh, make sure they're just you know up to snuff before you hit those trails because the worst thing is when you're out there and it's a simple little maintenance thing and <laughs> you're stuck it sucks so Got the difference here, guys. There, that's way better with contacts. Not perfect. Still some deep gouging right here, a little bit. But uh, all in all, that's gonna connect way better. Okay, now I'm gonna reassemble this thing. Make another video here. Okay, I'll start with the switch. Put your switch box down. There's a little slide that it runs on. And that slide is going to face like that. So on that groove, it can slide on that channel. It's the first time I've ever done this. So bear with me. A little hard one-handed. There, it's in. Okay, 
next to these little tiny springs and they go in here. So, let's see if I can do this one handed. Oh, 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 bumble. I oh, got it. <laughs> Get in there. Come on. Okay. Got him in. Next. Are these little guys. I should really be doing this with a set of tweezers. <sighs> Got a piece of hair in there. <sighs> All right. I don't know. I don't think I can. My fingers are too big. Tweezers. Standing face up. Like that. Okay. Those are ready for the cover to go back on there. All right. That was way better. Holy. Now that cover goes on there. Do not tip this back. Put the cover on while this is flat. All right. Let's see what you guys are seeing here. All right, you see it. Tuck there. Right there. Okay, now this boot on here, make sure it's down and clipped on. It's a waterproofing boot because this guy kind of clamps on the rubber boot right here. You guys can see, I can't see what you're seeing, so hopefully you see it. Because my camera's broken, that faces me. So, on there, it's down flat. Tiny screws. Don't need it. Come on, guys. That one. Kind of ridiculous using a drill for this, but uh, <clears throat> I'm doing it anyway. Too longer, too shorter. Hmm. Should pay attention to that a little bit more. Feels good. Okay, our switch is back together. Like so. Now you just put it back in the housing, which is right there. Had to think for a minute how to do with it. I'm going to write on that. Okay. So. Put that back there. Oh, 
that. That looks correct. That goes back in this housing. So, moving there. It was a little tricky to get out of this housing, too. There we go. Don't bend any of the wires. Put your grommet back in there. Awesome. Two little screws that hold the switch down, like so, like that, and you're going to have one that goes right there and holds this rubber boot in place, and it's got a little tiny piece of metal as well, kind of holds it in place, don't lose that piece of metal. Thank God I dropped it, but my son found it. Okay, so put that in there like that. That in there like that. Screw it down. Back on. Now, let's hear if it engages when I flip the switch. Oh, I already did. Huh. Okay, downs four wheel. Oh, it works. That left me stranded on the trail trying to get up and over some rocks to get over a barricade. Now it's fixed. So, before you go spending probably 300 bucks on this setup, just clean it out for free, guys. Just freaking clean it out, do a little maintenance. Okay, so. Snapped off stud here, this is no good, but whatever. I'll use it as a guide for now. That back on these bolts I gotta clean up because they were rusty. Let me tell you. They were rusty. That is gonna snap them off getting them out. Why some people don't do maintenance, I don't know. You know, you just gotta go through this stuff once in a while. I got uh, my wife's Polaris 600 for a thousand bucks because the guy's water pump packed it in. And uh, we had water in the oil, and he said, Oh, my buddy did it a year ago and it packed it in again. And, you know, just don't wanna do the maintenance on it and it's like buddy it took me like 20 minutes and the quad is mint like there's no bent frame on it there's no broken off bolts or plastics to mention runs great just had to change the water pump and if you guys want to see me change or ask any questions about how to change the water pump or how to get the oil seals out from the inside really easy i can uh I could definitely show you guys on how to do that. Just uh, ask away. All right, that's way better. Cleaned up. Lube that one up. Put that one back in the housing.
Don't cinch it down super tight as you're doing this. So, you know, put them in nice and gentle. And we can give them a little cinch. Ooh, this one's a little tighter. Yeah. These guys are, whew, they actually got to get them in there pretty good. There we go. There you go. Now that, my friends, is a fixed four wheel. Just like that. Super easy to do. Up to it and oh, beautiful, it's fixed, costs nothing. All right, guys. Well, that's how that's done.